I mean, grasses look stunning this time of year, and they look beautiful in pots on porches, and they kind of go into that autumn theme really nicely. Montauks, grasses, pansies and mums, those are all the nice autumn plants. There's a lot of sand and clay in the area, and they can be planted in both. Uh, and if you flood with salt water, grasses will thrive. They won't have any problem with that. And they're low maintenance, you don't have to deadhead them, but Mammoth Beach, Seabright, any area that floods, this is a plant that'll hold a nice structure in your yard and take up a lot of space and it won't be affected by the salt water and the sandy soil. They're just really hardy perennial grasses and a lot of these are maiden hairs. We've got the gold bar. You know, there's there's actually some of them have a silver, if you see this, there's a fine silver stripe down the center. I mean they're quite beautiful. They there's beauty in foliage and it, Foliage makes flowers look even prettier. You know, the key with fine grasses is you always want to check the mature size because it's not always at its mature size in these pots. And so you want to make sure you're not bringing home a grass that's not going to hit eight feet in three years. It's, it's natural. Grasses are kind of indigenous to areas with flooding. Yeah, this is another plant that does perfect in a town like Mammoth Beach, Seabright, where you have flooding problems. And they just come up like there was never any flooding. We would definitely recommend this to people that don't have a lot of success with perennials. It's very easy and stunning. It's a huge